hi guys welcome back to a new cleaning video so in today's video we're gonna be doing a whole house refresh a uh, whole house clean getting it all done in today's video this is a long one so make sure you grab a snack a cup of tea a cup of coffee whatever you like and sit back and relax or you can clean along with me in today's video i hope this video gives you guys the motivation you need to get some stuff done around your home uh, as you can see, my little boy was helping me first thing with the laundry. We're going to take the clothes out and hang them up today. As of right now, as I'm doing this voiceover, the leaves have come out way more than what they are here in this video. So I'm not going to be able to hang my clothes out for a while until the pollen kind of calms down. Because if I decide to hang them out, they'll have pollen all over them and I don't want that. So. In today's video, we're gonna hang them out. I think I had like two loads to hang out and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I started filming this video in the afternoon when we got home from our day out and I was so tired. I am not an afternoon or nighttime motivational person. I like to get things done first thing in the morning. That's when I'm the most motivated normally um, because I'm normally a morning person. I always have been. I'm not a late night person at all. So let me know when you guys get motivated. I know some people get motivated in the afternoon, like my brother. My brother said he gets motivated around noon or about two o'clock and he's ready to get stuff done. But see, it's not like that for me. Um, I just, I love waking up early to get things done right away so I can enjoy the rest of my day. And that's just how I've always been. Let me know, cause I'd like to know how you guys get stuff done and like what time of the day you get stuff done. Um, but yeah, once we get done hanging clothes up here, we're gonna go inside. I needed to wash my shower curtains today. So um, I just buy the fabric the fabric ones and I think the liners are from Walmart and you can get those too and they're also fabric. So all you do is throw them in your wash machine with a little bleach um, and your laundry soap and then they come so clean. So I never have to worry about um, buying a new liner or anything. I just wash mine and it's so easy and simple to do. So that's what I do um, And they were just starting to look mildewy and nasty at the bottom is normally where that builds up So it was time to wash them. I think the last time that I washed them was around After Christmas was done. So every you know every few months is when they get that build up and I need to wash them And today was the day we we're gonna get it done. So Cole wanted to help me make his bed he loves doing laundry right now and helping me with those things, uh, feeding the animals. He's been doing some things like that. And also um, he likes putting the little dish um, detergent for the dishwasher in the hole. He likes doing that. He He's just really into helping right now. He likes to help me put dishes away. So um, I highly recommend to uh, teach your kids early so maybe they'll stick to it, you know, as they get older. I don't know. Maybe that'll change. I hope not because I definitely want to teach Cole responsibility. I think it's very important to teach your kids on how to do things. So um, and also try to make it fun for them. Like for whatever reason, Cole just really thinks it's so fun to change the sheets on the bed. I don't really know why he thinks that's so fun, but I'm sure one day he won't enjoy it as much. But... For now, I'm just taking advantage of the fact that he he loves to help and I think it's great. He's not really into helping me vacuum anymore, guys. It's so sad. You guys remember he used to follow me around the house with his little vacuum. He's not really into that anymore, which is just sad. Thank you. 
bedrooms today with vinegar water and this kaboom or not this ain't kaboom i always call it kaboom it's oxy clean um in the spray can that sprays on blue turns white when it's clean the stuff is so good in my opinion and i definitely will be repurchasing it i love how convenient and easy it is the smell is not overpowering either which is also really good, but I really like it. So I highly recommend the product if you guys wanna give it a try, but it's really easy just to take through the bathroom to clean with. I'm trying to use the rest of this Method Antibac spray, which I absolutely hate the smell of it. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't like the smell of this. 
at all. I never have liked the smell of it, but it's an anti-back, so it's going to get um, the bathroom clean and sanitized and everything. And I just, like I said, I'm trying to use it up so I can throw it away. And then I will never rebuy that because I just don't like the smell. I like things that smell good and that might sound a little a little hypocritical coming from what I told you guys I dust with. I've been dusting with vinegar water, but I can tell you guys a way to make it smell good is to add some essential oil to your vinegar water and then it's fine, but it just does a great job and I, it's cheap. If you guys want a, a house cleaner or like a house cleaning product that is affordable and say you can't afford to go and buy like these other products that I'm sharing that I use, you know, vinegar water will do everything that you need it to do and you don't have to use anything else. Vinegar will even clean glass. So it literally does everything. It's an all-in-one cleaner. Um, I can't recommend it enough. I'd just like to share that in case somebody watching doesn't know that it is such an affordable, easy way to clean your home. It literally cleans everything. So today was the day that both showers needed to be cleaned and we're going to be focusing, like I said, getting the bedrooms cleaned and the bathrooms in today's video. Um, I feel like I hadn't made a video sharing me cleaning the showers or anything like that for a while because I normally clean my showers, if I'm being honest with you guys, probably once a month because I hate cleaning the showers. It's one of my most dreaded things to clean. And I just, you know, it's one of those things that I don't clean. And actually our showers don't really get that dirty. Uh, what gets worse is probably the bathtub from Cole taking a bath. Sometimes I'll take a bath and then... You know, my husband, he sheds like hair a lot when he takes a shower. So there's always like these little hairs everywhere. But other than that, you know, like we don't really get a buildup. So I feel like once a month works for me on cleaning my showers because I don't want to let them go like too long and have to have to scrub really hard because that's when I really dread cleaning a shower is when you got to scrub your butt off to get it clean so I do like to keep up with it but it's like once a month for me to, it's we're, there's only three of us you know and then obviously when I wash the dog in the bath I clean it afterwards because it gets really gross and I just can't let that go from washing the dog in the tub I gotta clean it right away but um here in a little bit I'm gonna share when I go to my bedroom I'm gonna share some clothes that I got from Walmart and I thought that I would just share them with you guys because they were really affordable. You guys saw me in the beginning of the video wearing pants. I changed my clothes um, to this outfit which is from Walmart and it was super affordable guys. Uh, the shorts were around $12 and I also got another pair that I'm going to show you guys. They're just a lighter pair and then my shirt I'm wearing which is like a tie-dyed cool like summer tank which I thought was really cute. They had different colors too to choose from. It uh, was around, I think, $9, which I feel like that's really inexpensive for clothes for the most part um, compared to other places. So Walmart has the best deals, in my opinion, on clothes right now. Um, and I, I'm, I was really happy with the stuff that I did get. And I do really like these shorts. Um, they're really comfortable. They're like a blue jean, but they're also kind of stretchy. So if that's something that you like, you might want to go and check them out. Like I said, they're really cheap. So... Um, I'm just not a person that likes to pay a lot of money for clothes. I never have really liked to do that. Um, I've always been an American Eagle person when it comes to like jeans and shorts even, skirts, whatever. I loved American Eagle stuff, but guys, let's, I'm going to be realistic with you guys. Like that stuff is so expensive. And what I would normally do is wait until that stuff goes on sale and then try to get like a pair, you know, or whatever that I really liked. But it's just expensive. So... I just didn't see the need, you know, for right now. If I see that they're having a sale, then I'll probably go check it out. But I do always love the American Eagle brand as far as jeans and stuff. But I just wish it wasn't so expensive.
I also wanted to share with you guys a little tip on when you're hanging your clothes outside. They tend to get really stiff and crunchy, which I don't like, but if you just take them in after they dry and fluff them up in the dryer a little bit, you should have an air fluff option or just like a low, a very like very low heat setting for like 10 minutes. They're, they're perfect and that's all it takes. So I just wanted to share that because I don't really like, when, especially towels, like the clothes and stuff, I don't really mind, but the towels that we're like drying off with, I hate when they are like super scratchy and stiff from being hung outside. So try the dryer uh, thing and let me know how it works for you guys if you hang your clothes out, but you're also gonna be saving electricity by hanging your clothes outside. And I'm really grateful to have these clotheslines. They were actually given to us, so we didn't even have to pay anything for them, which was really cool. But we paid for the concrete to put them in the ground. But as far as the poles, we didn't pay anything and we just sprayed them. They're like metal, um, I think, or like, no, I'm sorry. They're concrete, I believe. They're like solid, <laughs> you know? So they'll be really easy to maintain. They might just need some new paint on them in a few years, but they're solid. They're not going anywhere. So I'm gonna work on putting the shower curtain back up in the bathroom. We're gonna finish up some vacuuming and then I'm gonna mop in here. And the last room that we're gonna be cleaning today is my bedroom. But hopefully you guys have gotten some motivation so far.
So I'm going to share those clothes with you guys really quick. My husband also got a pair of shorts that day from Walmart and I thought they were so nice. Uh, they're light blue, which is going to look so good with his dark colored skin. But these were men's if you guys, they were only like 10 bucks. And then this shirt was another kind of like a tie dye looking shirt that Walmart had out that I really thought was cute. They also had different colors in this one as well. So I picked it up. I think it was around $9 for that one as well. And then these shorts were 12 bucks, which I think is really cheap. And they're really cute, I think, for my style. I used to be into like short shorts. So you guys, like in my early 20s, I liked the look of like the shorts being super short. But now I cannot bring myself to wear those. I'm a little bit more modest now that I'm older. And I just don't really like that. However, I love high-waisted shorts and jeans now that I'm older and I never thought that I would like those at all until I tried them and I have a little bit of a stomach pouch <laughs> so it hides that a lot and I love the feel I, like I feel a lot more confident and I am working on eating healthy right now I am on a official like I don't want to say diet because guys my goal is to just change my lifestyle and not make it a diet you know what i mean like just to try to eat healthy from here on out which it's so hard sometimes but i feel like mm, once i get my mind set to something and i really want to lose weight so i know that it's going to benefit me i think i've already lost like a pound just in changing my diet and i haven't even been exercising like i was so that is how much food can make a difference on your body and i've been feeling a lot better mentally so if i can inspire any of you guys to try to make healthier food choices um i hope that maybe me talking about how i'm feeling really good and how i i uh normally when it's that time of the month i get depressed and it happens every single time and I know there is some different sayings out there of people having uh, what's called PMDD, which is like a severe form of depression during that time of the month. And mine isn't severe though. So I don't want to label myself as to having that. I've never got diagnosed for that, but I just get sad and I get kind of like in a funk, if that makes sense to where I don't have motivation. I just feel like the way that I feel mentally is never good. So I was on this diet or I started this healthy lifestyle diet for about a week and I was on my period and I did not get funky feeling not one time. So what does that tell you guys? To me, it tells me that food is everything that you are making a choice. What you are putting inside your body is what you're going to get on the outside and also your mental state is going to be affected by what you're eating and I am not perfect in any way and I'm not trying to preach to anybody because I'm not doing that at all I just wanted to tell you guys my experience in case some of you guys are struggling and you don't know like why you feel a certain way sometimes it's as simple as food and that's it like food is supposed to be our medicine and we need to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and a lot of us just don't. Like I was a person that just was <laughs> lacking so bad and I was just grabbing processed food, um, a lot of fatty meats and just stuff that wasn't good for me. And also, I, even though I was exercising, which helps make me feel better as well, but it, something was still just off with me. And also my, this might be TMI, but I know I got a lot of ladies watching me. So I just wanted to say that um, my period flow was so light this month. I got no cramps compared to last month when I was eating crap. So I just felt like I wanted to come on and share that and maybe get some of you guys to try it for yourself. Try to eat like, say if it's just like a, a month or so of healthy food and cut all that processed junk out and see how you feel and then See how it affects your period because it affects mine every single time that I've done it in the past as well and I just forgot how good you could feel if you just choose to eat a little healthier so um yeah I don't know it's so hard but I love the way that I was feeling so now I'm like is this going to convince me not to fall off this wagon this time but I'm always going to be real with you guys you know sometimes people fall off but I'm really going to try hard guys from here on out to just try to make better choices when it comes to food 
because I love not feeling, you know, down. And if food is affecting my mental health, then I want to make sure that I'm doing a little bit better of a job choosing healthy things that can actually make my mental health improve and make me feel better. Maybe if I stay.
So I got a new vacuum. I think if you guys followed me over on the vlog, which will be linked down below if you want to check it out. Um, I broke my previous Shark Vertex vacuum. The top of it just completely snapped off one day, which they didn't really make this model very well in my opinion as far as like I shouldn't have been able to snap it but I was also really hard on my vacuum I dropped it a couple times so that probably didn't help um and I'm just hard on vacuums period but I love this vacuum so much so I repurchased it and the suction power was insane when I first used it after buying it and it's still really good but I think the key with these vacuums is you got to keep the filters cleaned and you got to keep it emptied in the canister and the suction power will be so good. And then also replacing your filters and stuff on your vacuums is really important too to keep them lasting longer and working better. But I could not even believe how good the suction was. So this rug in my room is so soft and I love it. It's from Amazon um, and it's washable as well. But um, when I went to vacuum it, the, it was like getting stuck in the vacuum because I had so much vacuum power um, so I kind of have to vacuum it a certain way, if that makes sense, so it doesn't get hung up on it. But because the rug is so soft, it's, it's like, I don't know what the material is on this rug, but it's the softest rug that I've even ever owned. Um, most of my rugs that I've had aren't this soft. So yeah, it's a little hard to vacuum, but it's fine because I get it done <laughs> just a certain way. I kind of like have to push the vacuum forward and lift up on it and that'll keep it from getting stuck. And then some of my rugs are like that too, where if you don't want to get the ends of your rug stuck up in the vacuum, just kind of lift it up when you go toward the end and that should prevent you from getting stuck. But um, I'm going to finish folding this laundry. Then we're going to go in and put my shower curtain up. But thank you guys so much for being here today and thank you all for the love and support on my channel. Um, I am now a YouTube partner. So I, that is very exciting for me, guys. So thank you so much for watching and being here because without you guys, I wouldn't have been able to make it to the YouTube partner program. Um, I am a partner on my vlog channel, but I was working. I've been on this channel for about a year now, I think. And it's taken that long to reach the partner program on this channel. So thank you guys so much. It means the world to me. And I wanted to just thank you guys. So I will see you all in the new video, probably on Thursday. So be sure to come back for some more cleaning motivation. Bye guys.